Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill. I want to take you on a guided meditation into the realm of spirit, where we shall find and reveal your spirit guide to you. If you've never interacted with your spirit guides before, now is literally the perfect time to do so. For during this Halloween period, the veil between the realm of spirit and the realm of us mortals is at its thinnest, and we can easily make contact with our guides. Guided meditation is perfect for this type of spirit work. It really helps us access those particular areas of our hearts and bodies with which we can hear our spirit guides. And although guided meditation is not for everyone, it is brilliant in this situation. I came to meditation late in life and mainly with the help of the Aura app, which today's video is sponsored by. Aura is an all-in-one app for essential well-being, mental health, spirituality and sleep. And it's used by seven million people. So I thought I would give it a go. So I've been using Aura for a couple of months now and it's a really interesting app for me because I'm on the autism ADHD spectrum and so I get a lot of just ridiculous thoughts just bombarding me. So I'll be walking along, working happily and then suddenly I'll think, I wonder how long it will take me to last on the moon. I mean, it's just rubbish coming at my brain and when this is happening, because my brain's sparking away, I use the soundscapes on Aura and put those on in the background and so therefore my brain is calmed, weirdly calmed by this noise so that I can then focus on the actual task in hand. So Aura's really helped. I and mean, the other way it's really helped is that I have piles of teenage children and my teenage children think I'm the most uncool person ever to have existed on this planet. And therefore they won't listen to a word I say at the moment. I mean, maybe they'll come round to it in the future, who knows? However, I have given them some life coaching sessions from Aura and they have found these really useful. They, you know, help them to exist in their teenage space. And so for those two reasons, I have to say I will continue using Aura for the foreseeable future. If you want to try out the app, do go to the description below where my code will give you 25% off for the first 500 people to sign up. And now let's turn back to communicating with your spirit guide for this Samhain season. As with all meditations, find a quiet and comfortable space where you feel safe and free from distractions and sit or lie down with your eyes closed. Once you are comfortable, concentrate on your breathing. Notice how you breathe in and out. Notice the air passing through your nose or out of your mouth. Now let's concentrate on slowing your breathing. Start counting your breaths so that you're breathing in and out and in and out and in. Feel and your out. body as it relaxes and down in and out and in. Pressing and into the seat and, and the cushions by your head. Out. Feel and yourself in just exist in this world. You are not and too in, hot or too cold, out, not too angry in, or too fearful. And out, you just exist and in, in here and, and out, now. And in and out. And in and out. As you settle, into a relaxed state, visualise yourself standing in a beautiful, serene setting. This could be by the beach, with the waves gently lapping against the shore. Or maybe you're walking through the fields and you can hear the sound of the nature around you, the sweet, soft singing of the birds the warm breeze rustling through the leaves, 
the grasses brushing against your legs. Or maybe you're following an old farm track through the woods with tall trees surrounding you, their leaves rustling in a gentle breeze. The air is cool on your face and the sweet earthy scent of the ground rises up as you draw your breath in. Wherever you are walking, make sure you pay attention to your surroundings. You feel the ground beneath your feet. The sun gently bathes your face. You touch the leaves and the grasses as you walk or feel the pebbles and the sand run through your fingers. Walk further into this tranquil scene and really feel the area around you and that you and the world you are in are connected with each other. Take a few moments to feel, to see, to hear, to sense, to touch everything about you. The greatness of the sky, the warmth of the earth, the lightness of the breeze, the sound of the animals, the grasses, the trees, the water. Look down at the earth beneath your feet and then sit down, letting you feel the earth, letting you feel the pebbles or the sand or the rustling of the leaves. Press your palms against the earth, push your toes into the ground. Know that there is power in this earth and that it is your mother, for you come from the earth and you will go back to the earth one day. Understand, this mother loves you. Wherever you are, whatever you do, you are loved and held by this earth. You are happy, you are calm, you are free from worldly cares. You are here, you are the now and present. Understand that you are content, as it is from this place of contentment that we are going to ask our spirit guide to join us. If you ask for them, they will come. And so now, call them to you. In order to balance the male and the female, your spirit guide will be opposite to you. So know that whatever you are, you will expect the opposite form to be present, and once you have called, they will come. Can you feel them? They like to stand just out of vision, just behind you, just to your side, 
you will know that they are there because you will feel their presence or know their presence is next to you. Reach out with your heart and you will find them. You can feel them. What are they like? Describe them to yourself. Are they tall? Are they short? What colour hair do they have? What colour eyes or skin? What are they wearing? Is it robes or jeans? Picture them with your mind. You will be right about what they look like. Maybe they're a child, or maybe they are old. Each spirit guide has chosen you specifically in order to be there for you. And you will know they are right for you and love them as they love you. Reach out your hand and ask them to take it. What do you feel? How do you feel? Think about how this affects you. And should you feel anything that is not beautiful, happy and positive, then you are not talking with your guide. Guides are our support system and they really care and work for you. So let's stand up and walk. Go deeper into your scene and ask your guide to come with you. Feel their response in your heart. What are they saying? How does it feel? Listen with your mind, your body and your spirit. For our guides do not talk to us through our ears. They talk to us through all areas of ourselves. And you need to feel those words of wisdom from yourself and your inner being. It is at this point that you may feel you haven't created the connection to your guide. So let's try a different way. Let's ask them what their favourite colour is. You will see the colour or know this colour within your heart or your mind. And that is the area that you must concentrate on to receive the information that you are seeking. Keep asking questions. Start easy. What is their favourite flower?
What is their favourite food? And then from this, you can start to delve deeper into connecting with your guide. And you can ask more complex and more difficult questions about their life. For example, were they married? Did they have children? What job did they do? Meeting your spirit guide is like meeting somebody new. And so you generally want to find out everything you can about them. They already know all about you. And so now it's your turn. When you feel you have communicated as much as you wish to or are able, thank them and ask them to join you again soon. They will come whenever you call them. And so remember this and call them. If at first you do not succeed, of course you must try again. Bookmark this page and try again. Maybe use a different scenic environment. If you are at the beach, go to the forest. Sometimes you just need to switch things up. A little bit and if you cannot speak with who you wish then you can always come back to me and book in and I will help. We often cover spirit guides within the coven so come and join us. I promise you you will be able to talk to them. Look at patreon.com forward slash Ginny Metherill for details. Otherwise, please just like and subscribe and I will see you next week.